there to fight for each other just days after news that the couple is split. The Geordie Shaw star, who after all is quite the veteran when it comes to relationships, says, I think it's just a hard time for them both. It's very hard being in the public eye and they're both very popular and there's just a lot of pressure. She continues, I told Charlotte if you love each other that much then it's worth fighting for. If it were me, I would fight for it. Which is why Marnie is good at giving advice. If it was me, I'd say cut your losses and run, but then I'm still single, so yeah, maybe listen to Marnie. Demi Lovato showcased her Halloween get-up in a series of Snapchats, and it's all boobs, bums, and semi-successful twerking attempts. The singer went with a tried-and-true Halloween dress-up technique, take a straightforward costume, like a policewoman or a nurse or Katy Perry's left shark, then make it sexy. No surprises that she looked absolutely banging. A lot of surprises for the unsuspecting customers at the gas station who thought they were just popping out to get some sweets for trick-or-treaters. Look, as they say, if you've got it, flaunt it. Demi clearly has it in spades, unlike um, uh, some of us. Which is probably why she made a small film of her Halloween outfit and I stayed inside binge watching Mindhunters with the volume turned up real loud to scare all the small children away and binge eating all the chocolate that was meant for them. Matt Terry came and chatted to us about the making of his new album Trouble and unsurprisingly it involved a fair bit of trouble. As well as a reminder why it's never a good idea to turn up early to anything. Take a look. I got